Hey guys, welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. We've spent several episodes discussing radiology. Today will be similar as we discuss the term tree and bud opacities. What does that mean? And how do we deal with this? Let's talk about this right now. Tree and bud opacities, or the pattern, is commonly seen on HRCT, or high resolution computed tomography scan of the lungs. This is the most common imaging modality I order in my practice. The pattern consists of soft tissue attenuation connected to multiple branching linear structures of similar caliber that originate from a single stalk. So what the hell does that mean? Remember, the lung is essentially pipes that lead the balloons all stacked on top of one another. These pipes are called bronchioles, and bronchioles eventually divide and lead to alveoli, the balloons. When these bronchioles are full of mucus or other soft tissue at the areas where they branch, it has an appearance of a tree in a bud. Take a look at this tree. You can see the branches. The lungs, like a tree, have branches as well. Take a look. Under normal circumstances, the lung is only full of air, so you won't see the branches very well. But when the branches become soft tissue, which in most cases for a tree in bud appearance is mucus, the branches are accentuated. You can see them well. You see what I'm talking about? Imaging is pretty easy to describe once you see it. The trick in medicine is understanding the differential diagnosis. What can it possibly represent? Bacterial infections like Staph aureus and Haemophilus are likely the most common finding in tree and bud opacities. Individuals with tree and bud can have Mycobacterium tuberculosis or atypical Mycobacteria like Mycobacterium avium, intracellularly complex, or Mycobacterium kansasi. Everyone wants to know the difference between Mycobacteria and atypical Mycobacteria. Well, the main difference is tuberculosis is contagious, while atypical Mycobacteria are not. Typically in the United States, we will see atypical Mycobacterium in skinny Caucasian women. We call this Lady Windermere syndrome. Most of the individuals infected may be immunosuppressed or have abnormal lung architecture secondary to previous diseases like emphysema or cystic fibrosis. Tuberculosis, on the other hand, is contagious and is passed from one human to another with prolonged exposure over time. It can spread in prisons or in college dorms when people are surrounding each other. The treatment for both tuberculosis and non-tuberculosis mycobacterium is at least six months of therapy and at times up to 18 months of therapy with multiple different medications. Other pathogens that can lead to tree and bud findings on CT include fungal diseases such as aspergillosis, secondary to aspergillus species. Aspergillus is most commonly seen in individuals with neutropenia, a low number of neutrophils in the body. You can diagnose on bronchoscopy and obtain a sample to look for fungal hyphae. Viral infections as well can cause tree and bud opacities. Cytomegalovirus, a herpes virus, can cause this finding, but patients are usually profoundly immunocompromised. You look for this virus in individuals with liver cirrhosis or individuals who demonstrate symptoms while going through a bone marrow transplant. These individuals are immunocompromised. You're also gonna see ground glass opacities with nodules in addition to tree and bud pattern. Respiratory syncytial virus, something we hear about frequently, can also typically cause a tree and bud pattern. RSV is a negative strand RNA virus in the family Paramyxoviridae, which is the same family as the measles and the mumps. Its genus is pneumovirus, and it can cause major respiratory tract infection in children. It can cause an influenza-like syndrome in adults as well. The virus has one envelope protein that functions as an attachment protein and another that functions as a fusion protein. Diagnosis is made by a rise in antibody titer or demonstration of viral antigens in the respiratory secretions. The only treatment, which is of moderate benefit, is ribavirin. Ribavirin is a synthetic guanosine analog, meaning it looks like an RNA or DNA base. It prevents viral mRNA capping and blocks RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. To treat RSV, we use that medication as an aerosol. When reading HRCT, we have to understand what tree and bud opacity looks like and what it represents. I wanted you to understand what it's like to create a differential diagnosis based on the imaging findings and also understand how we manage some of these conditions. I'm just here to arm you with information. Come back next time for some more ammunition. Appreciate you guys being here.